Andrew Tate speaks on the Aiden Ross situation. Your guy is very prepared, right? Yeah. And I want to bring it to this point. I want to give you my perspective on it and you tell me how it was. So, towards the end of 2022, before your arrest, you were yeah. chilling with streamers like uh, Aiden Ross, for example, yeah. right? On their stream and trying to improve their mentality, yep. trying to better themselves. Was that so? Because because there's a few ways of looking at this. Yep. Him being the most popular streamer at the time yep. can keep your relevancy up as well in yep. the time that you're yeah, away. Yeah. But also, it can use be by using him to keep your message going to the masses. Now, credit to him because I've, I don't follow him too much, to be fair, but yep. I know, I think for a month or two after you were in jail, he was still going to the gym, getting in shape. Yep. Don't know about now, but I mean, what was it for you? Yeah, I, he has a huge audience of young kids. The new generation are lost, bro. They're a mess. And Finished. Yeah, they're done. Yeah. And most streamers are just clowns and they, they don't provide any kind of value because to provide value in the world, you need to know things. Mm. And you're only going to know things through pain and suffering. Yeah. I think that God teaches you through pain and suffering. Ooh. Every single time you suffer pain, you're learning a lesson. And to be honest with you, I don't think men learn lessons any other way. I don't think we are capable of learning lessons. You know, it's crazy because when something bad happens, and that's actually true what he's talking about. Like when something bad happened to me, I swear to God, I learned I learned a lot of things from something that's actually negative. But at the same time, I try to learn something before it gets to that point because you don't want to always learn something when something bad actually happens. But I get I actually I get what he's talking about. Because um, a lot of people that take things for granted, like a lot of people take a lot of people for granted. And I feel like you have to experience loss in order for you to actually realize what you actually lost and then you grow from it. But yeah, but not in that way, but, you know, other ways of. You know, basically self-improving, like if someone do something bad to you or you're being treated like shit, just teaching you a life lesson that you got to be, you have to be self-made. You have to put yourself on. You can't without pain. expect nobody to I'll give to you a bunch shit. of examples. How many times has your girl said, stop cheating on me or I'm going to leave? Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you keep cheating. And then she leaves. You're like, damn, work. don't leave. She's yeah, like, she did it. You only, you only, yeah, you only learn the hard way. That's men. So that's why God teaches us the hard way. So for you to have value, for you to have wisdom, for you to be able to give lessons, you need to have a very difficult life. The reason people listen to me talk is because my life has been good and bad. Mm -hmm. If I was only good, if I was only sitting here talking about what watches I can buy, nobody would care. Yeah. So I and have to be have, fair, people might not even care. like you because oh, this guy's just a flexor. hundred yeah. percent. So you need to have all the bad things. And a lot of these young kids now, the streamers, they don't have any difficulty in their lives. Bro, you're 14 and you start getting paid millions of dollars from these streaming platforms. You have literally zero difficulty. So then how do you attract views? The only way you can do it is by self degradation, mm. being a clown, being a court jester, and for people to laugh at you as opposed to laugh with you. So then it becomes a race to the bottom of who's going to do the most stupid shit. And then they all start just being idiots online and being children. And I understood this. And Aiden Ross is one of the most well-known versions of this. And he's actually a nice guy. I know him very well. And I thought, let me try and give some positive messaging to this, to the youth. And that's why I did it. And I actually like Aiden. He's, he's more switched on than he comes across, but I'll take any platform and say the same things. It doesn't matter what platform you put me on. It doesn't matter if it's a feminist platform or a children platform. I'll say the same things, which is the truth of God and how to hard, work hard. And I, I'd like to think there's some children out there I've inspired via Aiden. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a really nice guy. But Low key before Andrew Tate, uh, it was Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels for me. I feel like Kevin Samuels gave birth to Andrew Tate, but he like he's doing it, but on a bigger global scale of what Kevin Samuel Samuels was talking about. I remember seeing uh Andrew Tate popping up on my um my for you page on uh, TikTok, and that's how I found it. But but he was barely popping up at first. I seen him, but all of a sudden, like he just blew up. Like what the hell? Like who is this dude? Like the dude just like he's speaking truth though. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the dude's speaking nothing but facts. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what his streams are about now, etc. I don't watch these things. I don't find them particularly entertaining. But I think I'm hoping. My prediction is that as the world gets more and more difficult, and that's coming. By the way, anyone who's watching this, 
if you're sleeping at night, you should stop. You should begin to panic because it's about to get very hard for the average person. As the world gets more and more difficult, people are going to shy away from the insanity of entertainment and perma distraction and start looking for answers and solutions. And that's going to allow people who provide value and value-based content to become even larger than ever before. Yep. When you can't pay the rent, you want to know how to pay the rent. You right. don't have time to watch stupid streamer garbage. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to think that's the case. But yeah, Aiden's a really nice guy. But uh, that demographic is lost, bro. The, the, the young people are lost. I don't, I'm oh. scared for the future of the world. I don't, I, yeah. But I know, the, you know what? I'm starting to be a grandpa because the grandpas have always said this. Think about it. Uh, even like 30, 40 years ago, the old people were like, you young people. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm starting to sound like that now myself. I'm like, you young people, you're all weird. But they are. It's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I want you to ask you this, right? Nah, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of older people are weird too. Not every person that's older than me by far don't have six figures, multi-millionaire deals, none of that shit. They ain't got shit going for themselves. Like, I don't know. Like, they, they dude, I swear to God, they have those that act like children. Like, to this day, like, they fucking stupid. I, I don't know, because it's, it's just to me, like, I just, I think, I mean, adults more weird because they act stupid like they never learned anything from their childhood or I don't think they even struggled and I feel like the people that really struggle that really struggle the most they're going to have more of a character development they're going to have more to learn and more to actually preach about and to talk about I feel like those people are going to be the most impactful and the ones that that just a lot about their struggle. You can tell by the way their character is just by seeing them, how they move and how they, you know, treat other people and how they treat themselves as well. That's just how I feel about it. <clears throat> From when you've come in line, the Top G lifestyle seems like the, the guy that can do it all. The Bugatti lifestyle, the private jets, the girls, etc., the fat house, all of it, right? I don't care about no and females. And where is the streamers making a shitload of money? That can do it all. The Bugatti life. It's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I wanted to ask you this, right? <clears throat> From when you've come in line, the Top G lifestyle seems like the, the guy that can do it all. The Bugatti lifestyle, the private jets, the girls, etc., the fat house, all of it, right? And whereas we're seeing streamers making a shitload of money nowadays, where they can do the private jet lifestyle, have a car collection, nice crib, girl to go along with it, but at the same time, they're not intellectually there, as you just said. Yep. So do you think the barrier to being the top G or the guy that people want to be is closing? I think that money's an amplifier. I've said this a lot of times, but I have to say it over and over again because I want people to understand. A lot of people think money will fix their problems and mm. all it will do is exasperate them. Yeah. If you're a coward, you will be a bigger coward if you're rich. You'll be more afraid of robbery. You'll be more afraid of people finding out where you live. If you're an idiot, you'll be a bigger idiot if you're rich. You're going to do more stupid things than you would have done if you were poor. If you're a G, you'll be a bigger G if you're rich. There you go. <laughs> the dude, can't, he can't say it better than this, man. I swear to God, the dude is letting your ass know. I wonder what category I would fit in if I got rich. So a lot of people don't understand that money doesn't change you. Money accelerates and exasper exasperates and amplifies who you truly are. The problem with a lot of these other streamers. I'm glad he said that, to be honest with you. So when you get rich, I thought people said money changes you, but I guess they got it wrong. It does show you basically your true colors. And it low-key shows other people's true colors when you got money it, it changes the people around you that's what i heard like money doesn't doesn't change you it changes the people around you that's just i don't know but i do believe that i do believe like money like having wealth it does show what kind of person you really are or the ones that think they have it like that, they're going to be talking the loudest shit until they really fall off. 
and get their karma and then they ain't saying nothing. described is they got rich young and they weren't shit mm. and now they're rich idiots they Agreed. were idiots yeah. and now they're rich idiots but here's what i'm saying to it because let's just say the younger audience of that okay. want to be rich one day now if you were my age you could look at Andrew Tate and be like, okay, cool, I want to open up this business, I want to do this, I want yeah. to do this crypto, da, 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 da. eventually I'm going to be in that position. Whereas you can have the younger generation look up to streamers, I want to sit on my computer all day and make money like that. And, and some of them do, I mean... There's uh, no hardship to it. Uh, there is no hardship. First thing I'll say about streamers is, and this is my sneaking suspicion, none of them make the money they pretend they make. You know what's kind of weird since I became... I'll tell everyone at home how rich I am. I, don't, I, don't, I know this is supposed to be taboo, I don't give a shit. I Low key, not really supposed to tell. I wouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell people my business. I don't. I don't, I don't care if people ask me. I, well, I don't. I ain't rich, but I'm saying if I was rich, I ain't telling nobody what amount I, I got. I pay myself in my a million dollars a week because it's a nice round number. I could pay myself a whole bunch more. Mm -hmm. That's what I pay myself, and that's what I spend, and I spend it all every single month. I buy a new car three times a week. So you spend four million dollars three times. Three times a week, this dude got it like that. This dude got fucking money. That is crazy. This man got fucking well, money. Correct. I buy a new car three times a week. I bought a new car yesterday. What car did you buy? The yep. new Vantage came out. Yep. I, I so went, that, went in the configurator. Food. Yep. Ticked every box. Bye. 316,000 euro. <laughs> yep. Bought it. When does it come? Dunno. Will I drive it? Probably not. Just bought it. I, I even saw that vlog where you bought the M3. You just wanted to see what the handle is. Like how much the, uh, like, since I wonder if you buy like every vehicle you pay it all, but at the same time you gotta pay, you know. Like the steering minutes. was like, yeah. I've driven that car for one kilometer. And that's it. It's on my driveway, yeah. But I don't want it. <laughs> so um, that's how much I make. These streamers, when they. I like the fact that he told how much he made, but at the same time, he didn't tell what's in his actual account. Now, that's low key smart. He's showing how much he. Well, he's telling you how much he made, but at the same time, he ain't exposed how much he have. To get these $20 million contract or $30 million, they announce these big contracts. Well, that is done so that the platforms can try and attract more streamers. Of but course. truthfully, they say $30 million contract. That's probably across three years. And they have to pay 50% tax. And there's a performance bonus. They only get the $30 million if they get X amount of views, which they're never going to get. Blah, blah, blah. All in all, they don't make anywhere near the money people think they make. I mean, okay, I have a Bugatti. Everyone knows I'm famous for having a Bugatti. My car was $5.4 million. Where's everyone else's? If everyone got a $50 million contract, why has no one else got a Bugatti? Because Lambos don't matter anymore. No one cares about Lambos. Wait, we're going past the... Yeah, that's pretty much overrated. Lamborghini is pretty much overrated. I always wanted one. I'm not going to lie. I always wanted a Lamborghini. And to be honest, I don't care if Lamborghinis is to the point where any... Wealthy person can afford it. I don't care because I want a Lamborghini because I always loved it, loved those cars as a kid, and it looks dope. And I think it looked nice to ride in, you know, especially like a red one, a blue one. I think it looks nice. A Bugatti looks nice too. It looks looks sick, but I don't like. It. I think it's ugly in my opinion. I like a Lamborghini. Even the name Lambo Lamborghini sounds hard. So I want I want a car like I want a vehicle. That looks nice. That I like to ride. Like if I was rich, I would love a Lamborghini. A red oh no, Lambo. Lambos are boring. Yeah. Five years ago, you had a Lambo. You were the man. Now, bro, like, yeah, my whatever, chick drives yeah. a Lambo. Who yeah. gives a shit? <laughs> so, bro, I buy Lambos in, on bulk. Give me four. Give me three. Give me all all the colors. Lambos are nothing. God, dang. So, where's everyone else's Bugatti? Well, they can't afford one, and it's only five million dollars. And I say only, and I'm not trying to be arrogant, but it's only five M. Like it, it, it's a month's wages for me. If, if, if these people are making 50, 40, 30 million like they say they are, where are all their nice cars? They, none of them are making the money mm -hmm. they say they are. First, that's all a lie. And that's just to convince kids to give up their future to just try and become famous streamers. And then we go down the path I just described. I don't, like, in my opinion, I feel like not everybody can become a big time streamer or I don't think everybody can do that. I mean, I don't think everybody has that. I don't think everybody can do that in my opinion. Not everybody can do the same thing that certain people can do. Not everybody can be a YouTuber. Not everybody can be a TikTok. Not everybody can do that. A lot of people talk about that, but not everybody can do it. Not everybody can put in the work to do that.
described before. When you try and become a famous streamer and you're an idiot, you haven't had a difficult life and you have no wisdom, nothing to teach, can't give value, you end up being a clown, doing dumb shit online, trying to be an idiot, which just further pollutes society as a whole. So mm -hmm. it's a trap. Yep. That's the first thing. The second thing is the only good thing about having money is that it amplifies your attributes, as I said before, which means if you make money the hard way, all of the attributes you learn along the way can be amplified by the money. Yep. If you learn how to make money diff in a difficult way and you gain stress tolerance and you learn how to manage people and you learn how to do meetings, you learn how to speak well. You oh, like communication skills. Like I know what you're talking about. Like he's talking about from his perspective, like he ain't talking about no streaming stuff. I mean, to each its own, but to me, I'd rather make money being a streamer on YouTube. I have no problem with that. I wouldn't be arrogant if I got rich. If I ever get rich, I wouldn't disrespect nobody. That's how I feel about it. I'll still be nonchalant. I'll act like I don't got money. I wouldn't act like I'm better than somebody because that's stupid. But I would love to have money. I would like to have a lot of money. I wouldn't have to go back to work, man. I would love that. Just going out to eat, like, you know, you can get, like, you can just go to the gym every day, get all the, like, expensive, like, healthier foods, stock up on that. You know, like, I, I would do all, let's like, see it, and pay off, like, get, like, a decent house, pay that off furniture all that stuff like ain't nothing wrong treating yourself with nice things every like it ain't nothing wrong with that i ain't gonna go overboard definitely ain't gonna walk out with no no expensive stuff on because that's basically how you get robbed you learn how to yeah. be charming you learn how to be funny these are all skill sets they're skill sets and then you get the money and these skill sets are amplified and now your life is great if you make money any other way, let's say you make money the easy way, let's say you win the lottery or you catch a crypto pump or you get a streaming contract for setting yourself. Wait, hold on. I don't agree with that because I feel like being a streamer is hard. Like you can't you can't just stream and automatically blow up. You have to put in like work. I feel like that has value too. Self on fire. Bro, these kids are pu putting forks in plug sockets, bro. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like bro, if you get money for that. There's no point having the money. Yeah. Because another thing about money that most people don't understand is. I feel like it's the character. It's, it's, I feel like it's the person's character. I don't think every party that's a social media influencer is like that. You get money, you get girls, you get respect, you get clout. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not if you act like that. No, if you're an idiot. Yeah. If you get money, you're just going to be a robbery target for the women you do, for the government, and for the criminals. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And if and you're not smart, it. if you're not street smart, you're not going to see any of it you're coming. You're not going to see any of it coming and you're going to get wrecked. So you don't want to make money the easy.